Hello again, everybody. This is our video solution to problem two from the fall 2021 Math 302 final at Cal State Fullerton. And again, we're looking at showing that a subset of a ring is an ideal. So in this problem, we have a commutative ring and we have two ideals, A and B. What a cool font, huh? And we want to prove that the intersection of those two ideals is an ideal. Now, there's nothing terribly special about just two ideals having intersection and ideal. In fact, you can take any collection of ideals, take their intersection, that will also be an ideal. And the proof will go along the same lines. But let's uh, let's give this a try here. So, uh, right, I need to check these three things, right? Uh, number one, is zero in the intersection? All right, well, we know that A and B are ideals, which means that they must contain zero. So A and B are ideals of R. That implies that zero is in A and zero is in B. But if it's in both, that means that zero is in the intersection. That's the definition of intersection. Okay, so that's the easy one. Okay, uh, second thing we have to show, closed under addition. So we need to show that if uh, X and Y are in the intersection, then x plus y is in the intersection. Okay, so we'll give this a try. So again, we uh, know that if you are in the intersection, then you're in both. So x, y in the intersection implies x and y are in A as well as B. But we know that A and B are ideals. Because they're ideals, they're closed under addition. So this implies that x plus y is in A and x plus y is in B, all right? So this is because A and B are ideals. But if x plus y is in each of them, then that means that x plus y is in the intersection. Okay, there we go, it's closed under addition. All right, third one, we need to show that this ideal A, or this proposed ideal A intersect B, absorbs R multiplication. So if X is in the intersection, and say little r is in R, then Rx is in the intersection. And the uh, side that I put the R on doesn't matter because, recall, I'm working inside of a commutative ring. So Rx and XR are the same thing. Okay, so we need to prove this. So, well, if I know that X is in A intersect B, then again, I know that means that X is both in A and in B. But A and B are ideals. A and B are ideals. And because those are ideals, that means they absorb our multiplication. So our X is in A and our X is in B. But if you're in both A and B, then you're in the intersection. So our X is in the intersection. And the combination of all three of these things now implies that A intersect B is an ideal of R. There we go. Proof is done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.